everyone welcome to my channel study junction and today i am going to show you the best books for cbsc class 9 students so let's go so first of all for maths rd sharma is the best rs agarwal you can also use but i personally feel that rd sharma is the best one and it has uh, all the chapters and it is divided into many chapters total 25 chapters there is a lot of practice available the questions are uh, difficult by the way but these are helpful in the long run also they are helpful for the competitive exams so i think rd sharma is the best book for class 9 maths otherwise you can also solve rs agarwal one and the same thing just the quantity of the sums will be more in rd sharma and less in rs agarwal and also difficulty level will be different difficult questions will be there in rd sharma and less difficult will be there in rs agarwal so you can use any of these books now moving to science chemistry i prefer pradeep's chemistry Uh, it's very good book. Uh, let me show you the contents. So it has four chapters, and uh, let me show you one thing. Uh, how are they written? So first of all, uh, matter in surroundings. First chapter, all the uh, notes and that things are given. After that, the practice exercises are given. Uh, discussion on NCERT questions is also there. Let me show. Uh, see you uh, here. Summative assessment exercises again, and NCERT discussions on activities and their uh, uh, conclusions. And after that, NCERT solutions are also there in this book. And NCERT exemplar problems are there. So it, this is the book which is overall. It has NCERT solutions, NCERT exemplars. It has notes and some important questions, as you can see. Short questions and uh, two marks questions and uh, three marks questions and finally five marks questions. After that, high order thinking skills are there in this book. So this book is overall and for chemistry you don't need any other book. Um, you can refer to this book. So moving on to physics. Physics I prefer. the lakmir singh's s chance uh, physics book and the second book i want to prefer is pradeep's physics so i use uh, these two books so first of all let me show you about the pradeep's book so it is similar to the chemistry one uh, all the uh, notes are given chapter is explained and after that the ncert solutions are there summative assessments are there and really good book see here lot of new uh, numericals are there so you can use the both of them or any one very good book uh, pradeep and i have very old book of lakmir singh uh it was given to me by someone and sim similar here is the chapter is explained a lot of numericals are there i feel that the numericals in s chand are uh, larger in number than pradeep so if you want to uh, get numericals then you can prefer this book especially in the reasoning questions and uh, in this are very good so this book is very nice uh answers are also there to the questions and now these you are getting the solutions for these questions online also so now for bio i don't use any of the book i just use ncert because i feel that ncert is sufficient so i don't use any book and if you want to uh, take then you can use pradeep's bio and also s chance bio you can use but i don't use i just use ncert i feel ncert is sufficient now moving on to english first of all for grammar i use essentials english grammar and composition and uh, this book is by sultan chand and chand or chand i use this book in 8th class this was recommended by my school and now 
I use this in my ninth class also. Everything is discussed in detail, and a lot of exercises are there. And I just love this book. You can refer for grammar. You can take this book, but it's a little bit expensive, three forty-five. And yeah, by the way, it's very good for literature. Or I have practice papers of Ever Evergreen Candid series, and I use these. It has. the literature companion and literate it's for best for literature everything is um everything written in this book is very useful like let me show you one uh, thing let's see this is the poem uh, the uh, let's see. so let's take the poem rain on the roof So first of all, here about the poet, it's given. Then introduction, and then summary is given. Then all the uh, paragraphs are explained. Each line is also explained here. Then theme is given, which is very useful for long questions. And then uh, poetic devices, that is literary devices, are given. And then textual questions, answers to NCERT. After that, additional questions, long and short, both are given. and after that assignment is also there to solve so i just find this book very useful now talking about the practice papers so for practice papers the uh it has been divided into three sections or you can say four uh first is reading writing uh, and re grammar then is literature textbooks and after that is asl so for reading many passages are there and for grammar the passages are given such a way that are asked in the board exams or by the school so it's very good thing and literature the assignments are there as you can see long answers and um the questions extracts are also there and for asl some tasks are given so this is about this literature practice papers now moving on to the last social science and i would say that for hindi i don't use any book but for hindi the book which you can choose is maybe uh, all in one or full marks guide you can see because many of my friends use those and say that that's very good so you can use all in one or either Uh, any any guide for hindi is good for social science i have this evergreen self study in social science and it's just amazing book um everything history geography political science and economics is well explained in this book let me show you and the french revolution the important terms first for definitions and some important dates are given then question bank starts it's best for question bank and otherwise i personally use ncert first and then for questions i use this book short questions and uh, yeah these were one mark questions and after that these are three marks questions and after that four marks questions are there and it's similar for history geography economics and civics and see our take exercise all the solutions and after that are some hot questions value based questions and yeah for everything it's there it's the best book for social science i prefer otherwise you can also use all in one because many of my friends use that book and uh, say that that's very good and one more thing i would recommend for maths is 100% success sample papers uh this is recommended by many people and this book is very very uh, nice book there are sample papers and the questions which were asked in cbsc in the previous years all are combined in the book so for maths preferably i prefer this book you can also buy for all subjects so this was it about this video i hope that you like this video and if you did then do subscribe to my channel and also share this video with your friends 
and thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye